Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with very interesting topic on accounting where you can manage different currency bank accounts and their internal transfers. So how we can achieve that? So I am starting with the basic configuration inside my accounting where my primary company account has been used in India whereby my primary currency is Indian rupees. So first step is I would like to enable the currency which I have done for Indian rupees that is my base currency then Euro then USD then AED and then the second step I would like to do is to fetch the live rate of my currency. So here is a small configuration which I am doing right now where if I go into my accounting configuration and then I can run this automatic currency fetch rate logic and then when I go inside my currencies now currency rates are set against my Indian rupees so one Indian rupees like you know then 98 Indian rupees is equal to one euro 23 AD is equal to sorry 23 Indian rupees is equal to one AD as well as 85 euro or USD is equal to you know 85 yeah, INR is equal to one US dollar so this is now set and then what I will do is I will specify my different bank accounts so over here let me specify like this will be my INR account and I can only trade in this account inside you know INR currency so this will become my first account then what I will do is uh, you know to collect the payment and uh, you know receipt I need to create some outstanding receipt and payment accounts over here I will check whether those accounts are present or not so it's uh, not there then now let me create those interim accounts so outstanding payments that belongs to bank and it should be reconciled then again outstanding receipt bank that has to be reconciled and then I will go into my journal again into bank where I will set outstanding payment sorry that is incoming so outstanding receipt will be used over here and then outgoing payment I say my outstanding payment and receipt account are set for this journal now what I will do is I will again create my different currency bank accounts so first i will select euro give a type as a bank and then my currency would be euro and then i simply save this and then over here i will say my outstanding receipt and then my outstanding payment as a currency and then i will create another bank account that will handle my USD transactions and my type of account will be you know journal will be bank and then primary currency will be USD and then I save it and then I give same outstanding receipt and then outstanding payments account. and then I will say bank and final fourth account is in AD currency the type will be bank the currency will be AD and now I will set receipt and then payment accounts so I'm done with my primary configuration of all the channel so next thing is I need some money to make transactions. So what I will do is I will simply raise some customer invoices from my real customers in different currency. Let's say I am collecting some you know sales in euro whereby I am creating one invoice with 8000 euro and I am collecting payments. Odoo is smart enough it will directly fetch that respective journal in that currency and I can register my transactions. Then I will create a new and then I will say I want to register some transaction in USD also and then I will simply add some transactions in my US dollar also 
and then I can set respective you know currency in my Indian rupees because my finally book and accounts are managed in Indian rupees and I create the payment in USD so over here you can see the payments are here now what I have to do is I have to register my uh, you know bank reconciliation hence what I will do is I will check 8000 euro has been coming from a customer then I will say 8000 euro received payment from customer and then I will simply reconcile this transaction against my 8000 euro of payment and then I will have a positive balance of 8000 euro in this account now then the same way in bank USD I will collect 7000 US dollar worth payment from customer and then I will simply reconcile this transaction so over here now if you see I have a running balance of 7000 USD in USD bank account and 8000 euro in my euro bank account and in my general ledger also you can see the respective amounts are available over here now one day I need some amount in my AED account so how we can make a transaction between euro and USD to AED with respect to some bank charges or forex gain and loss so what I will do is let me go to chart of accounts and see if I have those uh, expense account as a bank fee account or not so let me see like I don't have any bank account but I need to do that then let me just rename like bank fees so I am just renaming the bank fees and then I will create a reconciliation model to quickly identify if I want to park a difference amount as a bank fees and I will create a bank fee model as a button I will also park some amount in foreign exchange gain and loss so what I will do is I will create some more reconciliation model for foreign forex gain and then I will say foreign exchange profit so I will say forex gain is a label when I use this account and smart reconciliation model then forex loss can be another way to handle you know foreign exchange loss and the label will be forex loss when I hit this particular reconciliation model as my part of my transaction now everything is set and now we start with transaction from euro to AED account so what I have to do is I will register one transaction over here where I will say I will transfer thousand euro to AED bank account and then during this now Odoo has introduced internal transfer button if I press this amount will go to a temporary liquidity transfer account worth 98,039 Indian rupees let's say and then I simply validate on other hand what happens is 1000 euro will become AED when it comes to AED so what I will do is I will just take uh, to create a bank entry 4225 AED can be the amount so 4225 is my entry which can be received in my AD account so inside AD I will create one transaction where I have to mention like let me check okay and in AD I will go and create a transaction worth 4225 so let's see if I am receiving 4230 and then receive from my euro account right and then i will pick this internal transfer button so what happens is now Odu will say according to the book it should be thousand euro worth 98039 Indian rupees as per my book but what i will receive due to the fluctuation of currency is more and then this is going to be my foreign exchange you know maybe loss for euro account because it is on credit side and in my liquidity transfer I have to register as a foreign forex loss right now hence 
this will become either you know gain or loss but this i will register as this and then i will change the fraction of amount and see it will be settled down like this and then i will validate the entire transaction so now it will become my you know one transaction where I have registered the money and then in my general ledger now I will see I have some amount in this particular balance which is worth 4230 against 98,083 Indian rupees and then in my liquidity transfer it will settle off like this and then it will show a negative balance in my foreign exchange loss because I incur a loss due to that forex transaction let's see how i can transfer my usd to ad amount and i will register one more transaction let's say i am transferring 500 usd like to ad bank account or let's say to inr bank account and then i will say it will go to liquidity transfer amount whereby the amount is 42578 is my final amount i will validate it and then on INR account now I will be going to receive that amount so over here let's say what I will receive is this amount only so received from USD bank and then during this reconciliation now I will have this much amount which is less than what is anticipated okay, so over here what we will do is we will correct that amount and then the difference of this amount 78.34 let's say it is 78.17 sorry it's minus or it's it's let's say sorry if i want to park this amount now I want to register this difference amount with my bank fees so I will simply press this button it will register under bank fees so 42,500 is received in my Indian account against 500 USD transaction whereby this amount will go as a bank charges when I make a transfer so this is a second example you can see how you can register either forex gain or loss or bank fees during your transaction reconciliation over here now in my general ledger i will have a positive amount in my bank as well as the you know liquidity transfer will uh, require to settle down like this so over here now we can see the money is transferred between the account and then i am settling down my you know transactions like this so hope now you can see how you can manage different bank currency account and internal transfer with the reconciliation of those against foreign exchange gain loss and bank fees like this hope this will help many end user and consultant to set up these practices for end client if you have any question feel free to reach me thank you